Oh, hi there folks. Um, I just thought I'd do this video because um, I can't see any other videos on YouTube at the moment of the DFS Vinson, <clears throat> excuse me, the suite. And according to the geezer that delivered it for us, um, we're one of the first households to get this suite apparently from the, um, from the factory. It's not been out very long. And um, when I was trying to do some research on it before we bought it, there wasn't nothing on there. So I thought I'd just do a quick video. Um, I, I don't normally do this sort of thing Thing normally, I'm not a sofa reviewer, I haven't got a clue really what I'm doing, um, don't care about you liking the video or subscribing, none of that crap, but I just thought I'd do a video just to show what the what the sofa was like, some of the features, and what I thought about it so far. Um, we've had it about two days, <clears throat> we got it from DFS in Rotherham, um, it took about a month for them to make it, so it may be about five weeks, but we got it about two days ago. Um, it's really nice, um, obviously, as you can see. Um, sorry about the mess of the lounge. You've still got the other suite in the background, trying to get rid of that. Um, obviously, this one is the two-seater um, power recliner. Um, I'll show you all the little um, cup holders in a minute. And over here, we've got the three-seater power recliner and um, the additional footstool as well. Um, it's really nice. Um, I can't quite remember what material the geezer at the shop, um, the geezer at DFS said it was made out of. I think he said it was microfiber or something. Um, it's almost a cross between sort of um, regular sofa fabric and like leather. Um, it almost feels a bit like suede. It's really nice. Um, it's not as cold as leather and it's not as slippery as leather. Um, it's part of their endurance range. Um, so it's got a really nice soft feel to it. Apparently it's super, super durable, which is good um, with the kids and everything. Um, it's sort of like a, I don't know if you can see in this light, it's sort of like a, a brownie grey, probably more grey really, um, with some sort of nice coloured edging and stitching. Again, I'm probably not using the right terms, but again, I don't really care. It's not like a review. I'm not a professional one, I think. Um, nice stitching, really comfortable padded foamy seats, really good, really nice quality, really pleased with all that. Um, to sit on it, it's really comfortable, really supports my back. I've got a bit of a bad back, so that, that's really comfortable. And I'll just move around to the um, little buttons at the side. Um, you've got the power buttons there. So one does the actual, um, one obviously does the chair itself, the legs, and puts the recliner back. Goes right back to almost like a lying position, which is really nice. And then you've got another one that just does the actual headrest. Let me just move this little Christmas tree crap out of the way. Um, and one which just does a headrest. So you can get it in a nice, comfortable position. Um, it's quite a versatile um, recliner. And then again, there's a little return button there in the middle and a USB port handy for charging your phone or your tablet and all that sort of thing. So if you just press return, you don't have to faff around with both buttons, you can just do that. And it'll go back to the regular seating position. Sorry about the camera work, again I'm just doing this from a mobile phone, so I ain't got any Gucci equipment. Um, so yeah, that's a three seater, plenty of room in there. Um, um, I can lie down comfortably on there, I'm only about five foot nine, so that's really, really quite handy. Um, obviously the one in the middle doesn't recline, that one would never recline because there's no button um, that you can really get to when you're sitting in the middle. Um, obviously the same at that end, I won't go around there, it's too dark. Um, but the other good feature about it, I don't know if you just saw it, was that it's also got um, built-in Bluetooth and it's got built-in speakers, which makes it, I believe, a smart, a smart sofa. Yeah, believe it or not, I never knew that existed until I walked into DFS. Um, so, sorry, yeah, there's a speaker there, You've got one at each end. And whilst I'm down here, there is the one in that side. Sorry, it's a bit dark over here. Um, that's the speaker for the two-seater one. I'll get to that in a minute. So it's really easy there. So long as they're plugged in, the Bluetooth is permanently transmitting. So you just navigate to it on your Bluetooth on your phone and you can play your music through it or whatever for your phone or tablet. Um, it's quite good quality. Um, obviously, it's not going to be like a Pioneer sound system or nothing but it's you know it's nice quality if you just want to listen to some music uh maybe while you're you know reading a book or something so nice feature that's what that apparently it makes it smart and the fact it's got usbs in it so that's really handy um i'll just quickly show you the footstool again same material same nice finish same warm um 
suede feel really nice actually um, it's nice to sit on um, obviously it has a little pocket there probably for some remotes or whatever you want to put in there um, it's still got the labels on it yet see it's still brand new I haven't even taken them off yet um, and obviously it doubles up as like a little storage container as well get quite a few bits in there so that's quite handy close that one down so that's the three seater and the storage stall so I'll just show you some of the features on the two seater power recliner with the, the cup chillers and all that sort of thing um, so I don't know I'll try and get this in focus it's quite quite a nice little feature so we've got a few buttons on here um, these are the, the first four one two three four again they do the reclining of the chair and the headrest like I just showed you on the three seater but instead of the buttons being at the side obviously they're just here nice neon blues um, this button here says light and cool so I think if I press that it turns on the it turns on the LED ring around the whole cup holder I'll do on that one as well um, so the cup the, the cup chillers themselves um, they're okay um, let me turn it on now you're probably not going to be able to hear that but there's a slight sort of vibration and like buzzing coming from that so I don't know I don't know what sort of mechanism mecha what mechan sorry I can't get my words out what sort of mechanism it is I um, don't know if there's some sort of refrigerant in there or some mini compressor it does get cold it definitely gets cold but obviously if you want peace and quiet you know you've got to bear that little buzzing in mind it is pretty low and when the telly's on you can't hear it at all um, but just bear that in mind so I don't I'm not really sure if it's a bit gimmicky um, one thing to keep in mind though if you're drinking from a can like last night I had a can of beer and obviously the can of beer at the bottom isn't flat it's like you know a bit arched again I don't really know what the word would be but you know what a can of beer is like so that means obviously only the 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 edge of that the bottom of the beer is actually on the chiller at the bottom so that cans don't really work in this they, they won't be cooled um, I suppose it's more meant specifically for glasses so just bear that in mind if you drink from a lot of cans like me it won't particularly be that helpful um, I think the sides get a bit cold as well but primarily it's that little bit of metal down there at the bottom so it definitely does get cold it definitely will chill a glass but you know not so much on a can so bear that in mind um, there's a little lock button there if you want if everything locked in place um, I suppose if you've got kids or whatever um, again I won't I'll just quickly show you the the mechanism again it's obviously the same as a three-seater so let me try and see this is one thing um oh, obviously I've locked it sorry idiot um so I've unlocked it let me try again um let me change positions this is one thing I've found actually um with these buttons they are a little bit tricky to to get in the right place there you go you've just got to hold it exactly in the right place um you sort of almost have to push down and forward which is a bit weird um, it's a little bit temperamental but it, it does eventually work once you get the button in the right place um, obviously as you can see that's same as a three seater that goes almost to a, a horizontal position um, the headrest at the top again is adjustable using the the other buttons on there head up and down I'll just try and get that in focus for you it does look really good I have to admit um, it is really good um, this plate here apparently is for charging a mobile phone, uh, like a mobile phone charging wireless feature. Um, my phone doesn't have that, so I've not been able to test that yet, but I'll make sure my next mobile has that feature on so I can utilise that, get my money's worth. Um, you've got another bit of storage in there, so that's quite handy. We put all our remotes in there, put headphones or whatever, or a box of wine, whatever you want to put in there, which is handy. Um, let me just put this back so I can get around the side um, again this this one is obviously smart because it's got this you know LED feature in it and again it, it does have the Bluetooth which is really handy um, for the music so these these have got speakers in them as well um, sorry in here as well sorry I forgot to show you um, I'm really sorry I don't th think it's too dark but you've actually got two plugs here so you can plug additional equipment in there and you've got two USB ports again in there, so that's really handy to charge all your stuff up, um, or you know, plug in plugs, whatever. Um, so again, that, I think that's what's contributing to the name of Smart. So that's that's quite handy. Um, I'll just go around the side again. 
Um, again, sorry if it's a bit dark, obviously I'm not in some sort of fancy studio, it's just my lounge. It's a bit of a mess. Um, again, there's the speaker that the music comes from, so that's really good. Um, obviously there's no buttons at the side because you've got them all on the centre console, which is really handy. Um, do, would I recommend it? Yes, I would. Um, they don't come cheap, obviously. They are quite a premium material. Again, I, I think the guy said it's some sort of microfiber, um, so, but it's really nice, really warm. We've had leather before. Our old suite here is leather. We've had that for 14 years and it gets really cold in the winter and a bit sweaty in summer. So we we wanted this material. We didn't really want um, just cloth or whatever other fabric. So we thought it's worth paying a bit extra for this um, endurance range, whatever it's called. Um, so yeah, really would recommend it. I'm not paid by DFS or nothing to do this review. So, you know, I'm not getting any money for this, <clears throat> but yeah, I would recommend it so far two nights into it. are really comfortable, really enjoying it. I'm just going to turn the lights off to show you what it looks like in the dark with, um, you know, with the blue LEDs looks really quite smart. So it's nice. When you've got the lights off watching the TV, you know, it looks 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 the business. So yeah, really I would recommend it, really good. Um obviously they come they're about fifteen hundred quid a piece, so they're not cheap. And obviously they're not the most expensive you can get, but um yeah, really comfortable so far. Perhaps I'll do another video in a month or so to give you an update on what I think. But okay, take care guys. I hope the video's been useful. Okay, cheers, bye.